Hello everyone, Vicentio from HTTV Test here. With CES 2021 fast approaching, more and more news are coming in. And today, LG Display has announced that it is introducing the world's first 48-inch bendable OLED with CSO or Cinematic Sound OLED technology, which is optimized for gaming. Now, if you remember from CES last year when I visited LG Display's booth, you know, I saw their 55-inch bendable OLED, which again is pitched for the gaming market because the TV can be bent around your field of view. You know, it will provide a more immersive gaming experience. And this year, LG has taken it one step further and put it in a 48-inch format, which has proven to be extremely popular for the gaming market for obvious reasons. You know, 48-inch is going to be a screen size that is probably more easily put on a desktop for the PC gaming market. And they will also be using CSO or Cinematic Sound OLED technology. I think, you know, in years gone by, this is known as Crystal Sound OLED, but because Crystal has, you know, association with Liquid Crystal display or LCD technology, so they have discarded the word Crystal and they are using Cinematic Sound OLED or CSO technology to try and describe this technology which uses a exciter behind the screen to vibrate the screen and create sound. And you may know this technology from Sony which has actually used this technology and branded it as acoustic surface audio technology. And new for 2021, what LG Display has done is to actually shrink down the exciter. So the thin film exciter has gone down from 9 millimeters from the years before down to 0.6 millimeters. So it is not as thick. So you can still get a really thin, bendable OLED, you know, that actually provides an immersive gaming experience while providing good sound as well. Although, if I'm honest, you know, if you are saying that there is a vibrating exciter that is not going to be as thick, you know, it may not go down well with certain segments of the society. But the thing with the bendable OLED is that you know, it is capable of a curvature of 1000R, which means that you know, it has a radius of 1 meter when it is fully curved. And I think you know, the product shot that LG Display has provided in its press release is probably a bit too far to actually provide the maximum immersiveness. I would have imagined that to get the best immersiveness for a 48 inch screen, you need to sit much closer, probably using it as a monitor where you can actually let the wrapping display envelop your field of view, providing more immersion, you know, without you having to dart your eyes around to see the screen. And I think that the product shot that LG Display has provided may be a tad far, but you know, who am I to argue with professionals who are coming out with this sort of unrealistic, you know, <laughs> product images? But still, I think, you know, this is an exciting proposition, you know, going forward. And the thing for me to emphasize is that LG Display is a separate company from LG Electronics. LG Display is the company that supplies the panels. So they will supply the OLED panels to, let's say, LG Electronics themselves. And maybe Sony, Panasonic, Philips TV, Vizio, and any other manufacturers who want to buy their OLED panels, whereas you know, LG Electronics is the company who is responsible for making the actual televisions that you can buy in stores, that you can buy online these days with the pandemic, you know, with the lockdown and stuff. So let's say the C1, the B1, you know, they will all be done by LG Electronics. And the thing is, you know, Currently, the announcement is done by LG Display, so it is probably still in a prototype stage where they are trying to pitch the product to various OLED manufacturers, and we do not know who will take up this product and sell it to the wider consumers. And the thing with CSO or Cinematic Sound OLED technology is that you know it is mainly dominated by Sony. You know, Sony has actually taken this technology and branded it as acoustic surface audio. So in a sense, you know an OLED screen with a vibrating exciter that can actually generate sound from the screen, providing for more precise localization of the sound to the image on screen, you know, is now strongly associated with Sony, which is why maybe, you know, no other manufacturers have taken up this technology. 
So I'm going to be quite intrigued whether you know Sony goes one step further and take up this technology, providing a bendable OLED, you know, that can provide acoustic surface audio as well. And trust me, if it is Sony, then I doubt that it is going to be cheap, especially with such a cutting edge product. But another ramification that I can actually think of is that, you know, if let's say LG Display is actually coming out with a bendable 48-inch screen. Hopefully, that means that the supply of regular 48-inch OLED panels, you know, is actually going to be increasing. You know, you don't really go about trying to make a high-end product without actually getting the basics right first. It's just like how, you know, if you have a limited supply of vaccines, you know, you try and use the vaccine to inoculate more of the population with the first dose rather than give the second dose to a smaller segment of the population. And that's the general idea, I think. So hopefully there will be a less tight supply of 48 inch OLED in 2021. And also the prices may come down as well. And OLED is I think, you know, the best technology for gaming currently because of several reasons. One, it is capable of true blacks because of its self-emissive capabilities. And this true blacks, this vibrant colors, you know, they don't actually degrade with, say, engaging game mode. Unlike LED LCDs with full array local dimming, when you actually engage game mode, generally you have to reduce the effectiveness of the local dimming, causing more blooming grayer blacks, whereas, you know, with OLED, the qualities of true blacks, white viewing angles, and vibrant colors are inherent, are native to the OLED technology itself. So even if you engage game mode, you don't get as much of a degradation in picture quality compared with LED LCD televisions. And also, OLED has near instantaneous pixel response time, you know, down to 0.1 milliseconds. And this will reduce the incidence of, say, VA type. LCD smearing, you know, when a black object travels across a bright background, sometimes you will see some smearing or black trailing artifacts on LED LCDs, and that is not present on OLED technology beyond the regular sample and hole motion blur, which again, hopefully can be combated by other technologies such as black frame insertion. And that is the reason why I think, you know, OLED is generally the best display technology for gaming these days and also all these OLED panels that are sold by LG Display are 120Hz panels so they will be capable of VRR or variable refresh rate maybe up to 120Hz and I know some of you want me to make a video about the HDR game mode on the new firmware on the LG CX or C10 OLED but unfortunately the latest firmware of 03.21.09 it's not actually widely available in the UK yet. You know, I can't seem to get it OTA or download it from LG UK's website. So I have to try and find other means to try and get my hands on this firmware and do some testing. But please be assured that, you know, once I get my hands on the firmware, I'll be doing a before and after comparison in terms of the charts and other benefits as well. So if you'd like to learn more about other CES 2021 news. I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it, and I will see you in the next video. video.